Rio de Janeiro, there were a thousand messes in a Maracana of 73,738 people, young and old, men and women, but the real one began the day as if he were the meeting the ball for the first time, hesitant, tentative and unsure. Full coverage, World Cup 2014. He may have set up the opening goal, but even when Argentina went up a goal in the third minute, it was a clumsy effort. Bosnia's Emir Kolasnanak's block of the Messi free kick cruelly rolled in at the far post and Esquiel Garay, who was frankly not ready for it, celebrated it like his own. For the Argentines, it was a laborious first half. For the Bosnians coached by Seyfit Suzik, the silken playmaker of erstwhile Yugoslavia, it was proving a most impressive debut. It was to be a story of two halves. Argentina coach Eligen Rosabella withdrew Maxi Rodriguez and Hugo Campagnaro for Gonzalo Higuain and Fernando Gago, and immediately the game changed. Messi, till now cutting a lonely figure, as he himself put it later, an Argentina, preponderous in their thought and movement, we seemingly freed of their own shackles. There were more open, more probing and more adventurous. Well past the hour, the little man latched onto a ball in midway into the Bosnian half, played a 1-2 with Higuain, cut past along the left on the edge of the penalty area and as rival defender Zermin Bikaksik and Mohamed Pjanic fell over themselves trying to stop him, our man had placed the ball at the far post. It had beaten Asmer Bigovic in goal but struck the post and deflected in. The Marokana roared and roared its approval, and Messi found himself screaming out years of pent-up World Cup underachievement. It was tough to say which one was louder. The numbers came tumbling out. According to Opta, Messi had played 623 minutes of the World Cup since scoring a goal. His last, and only, goal had come in 2006 against Serbia. Also, he had not scored in Brazil till this stunner. Also, he became the second Argentine after Diego Maradona to score successive World Cup goals eight years apart. After his second goal against Belgium in the 1986, Maradona had scored against Greece in 1994. Seyfit Suzak summed it up best. I had thought of man marking him for today's game he said, but it was never a good idea. We didn't want an unnecessary booking or two just because of this. It is very difficult to man-mark a player like Messi. But for so long, the story was something else. The other team in blue, the newest entrants to the World Cup, looked like the true claimants of the Albaceleste mantle. The original meanwhile, were the caught-out imposters of the evening. Bosnia seemed to have taken to Suzak's teachings well. Playing their first World Cup match, against Argentina, at the Maracana no less. The Bosnians showed they were not overawed by the occasion. Free-flowing, an almost telepathic connection between the trio of Izet Hadjrovic, Sanad 